Well, that was easy, but you know what's easier? Trading your skins at tradeskinsfast.com. Max readjusts, falls away from the angle for a second, might have a little look again, but timing is everything. They're already on the site. It's down to Taz now, but the smoke's gonna really hinder what he can see, but great timing on this. He could maybe find two out of it. He does a third. Oh, brilliant stuff from Taz, and now it's the 1v1. He's made a through door. He's looking to try and tip the scales, and he has. That's maybe a route towards A open. Flash comes in, but his teammate falls. It's just him now. It's just Nico in a 1v2. He does have the bomb. No utility, nothing to really play with. Takes the fight on the first, he wins it. Time is ticking, though it's dwindling. Bomb will be planted, and Taz can't stop this. Molly goes in, but it's late. And now Nico is loose, and that's one thing you do not oh. want to see. Nico, what an animal! No one's sticking it, and he's got to be in a position now where he has to spray. They've spotted him now. Ball is going to stick the bomb. Fur goes down. Will he find this headshot? It's so... Oh, my God. Any moment now, he has to get this kill. Ball doesn't have a kit. Oh, my Did goodness. Did he even have time to defuse? against Fallen in the exact same position. Bomb in a favorable spot for Fallen, but he has an op. At one-on-one, -on -one, this can be quite difficult. He's pushing up with the USP. Will he finish the kill? Happy is missing his spray. The no-scope is bad. He's gonna reload the USP. He's gonna go back to the fight. It's coming down to pistols here as they go down the ramp, and he gets the kill, finally! <laughs> Find a kill, though. He's looking for one. Can't find it just yet. Scream, however, finishes Phelps off. Two left alive for Envy. They're finding a couple of kills, no problem. Long gets shut down, Fallen brings it to a one-on-one. -on -one. Another situation, a clutch situation for SK. They've been able to come out on top every single time. Falling down to half HP, and he's moving up the ramp. He sees XMS, is this gonna be a good opportunity for him? Running out of bullets, he gets the headshot, four kills, and SK clean up the second pistol. Liquid's gotta be careful, do they oh, check nitro, this? Nitro, Nitro! Unaware, completely caught out, and oh, the flash is just filthy, look at it! That's a massacre. That even shouldn't be on Twitch TV, let alone anything else. Always that first initial kill, and there it is again. And who is it? It's fallen right at the bat once more here. He's gonna get a second one too. That is peeking into him. There's no utility to support these peaks or anything really. Just thinking, there you go. One, two, three. It's easy days for fallen over here. He's not just gonna try to contest him outside of ramp instead, but looks oh. the wrong way. Thought he was maybe gonna get flashed from upper, I think. And ends up just going down to Stewie. So Stewie playing a couple mind games here. Comes out on top, and hold on now. What's he doing? Just going inside, getting his second kill now. He takes down fallen. What's the game plan here? Team's still very far away, but it doesn't matter. It's on that bomb, it's on Nico right now. Let's see where he plants. Eight seconds, bomb going in. He needs support, he needs a covering fire. Rain just unleashes fury. Glaive is there though. Oh, Nico needs to be absolutely precise, and he is! That's Nico! Think back in this very passive manner. Rain will be watching for this push out. He does have support from Pit, so he's not completely isolated. And this crossfire is so damn good. It's gonna stay flawless. Unless we can see a quick turnaround from Zeus and Simple. Simple first up to bat, quickly headshots RPK into the oh. site, quickly follows it up with another one on the XMS as well here, and is going to even move up to the doorway, trying to see if he can get a flight kill against these players. If they push into the site without realizing it, they have to suspect something from this corner, though. In the meantime, though, Zeus is going to use this opportunity to push forward himself, get the plan out of the ground. Simple buying himself even more real estate with that smoke coming out from Zeus. And now they'll start to push it from the drop room instead. They do suspect Simple, but it doesn't matter. Get the How? third and the fourth. Is this going to be the ace? And there it is from Simple. Massive work. Picking down Zeus, just Edward, finally takes down Sixer, but he's still gonna look for XMS, oh. but he gets it done anyway! Now it's just Edward sitting in the back holes, he does not have a molly to throw down, so this is not a safe position. He sees the shadow though, so that's the easy kill. The smoke goes down, and we are gonna see a full commitment to the defuse from Happy, but I think Edward was able to spot him from just on the outside of it, so he takes down Happy. One from VP, just watching. Oh, that's Nitro with two kills, he's got three in the round, they try and come out the door, he punishes them, there's a fourth, he can go for the ace here, and he's gonna get it! All five kills for Nitro, peering down, and he's oh, there's a gap there. Oh, look at that. It's perfect. Flashbangs don't blind him. A triple kill. Uh, have a little chew towards one. JDM drop. And Viali waits at the bottom. No escape. Nowhere to hide. Nowhere to run. Plant positions can be decent for Virtus Pro. They have a lot to work with still. Surely, Lauren. Surely, this is a round for VP. Five on four. Bomb ticking away. It's pretty deep into the timer. Here it comes from Liquid. Snacks grabs one, but Santa's lost made his way into the side. Can he be a hero again? No. Commits to a flight towards ramp. There's two in closet. Now they swing out. There's Pasha with the trade, and surely it is. Pasha with the second. A second round for VP. Simple their strats. Go for a simple A execute. What is happening here? Zeus getting all these kills. A one for one trade brings us down to a 1v1 all of a sudden here. Now it's Skadoodle. He's caught behind the molly, but it doesn't matter. Takes the shot. They're gonna be making mistakes as they go into this site simply because they need to get to the bomb very quickly. They dive onto it. Skadoodle gets the first kill. Sees is committed to it though, and oh, just barely gets it. Clutches it out for Cloud9.
with a rifle. It was yeah, cloud nine. All five pushing to enter. They find the first kill easily. Simple's there for a trade, but it's not going to last long. Now Tarek is going to become turret here for a second as he goes in, gets the double kill against Zeus and Flamey. It's Glaive that has to hold off the angle. Kiari cannot escape the site. The Molotov's going to force him out. Incendiary, rather. And actually, he's going to go the long way back toward the boxes, back toward Quad. That allows the entrance to be better, but Glaive's found the crossfire, and Kiarbi's able to stay alive as a result over time. Device needs to confront JDM, and Kiarbi gets him instead by reversing back. But they haven't found Twist in the site just yet, Ooh. and they may not, because he's above the box. Good find! A third on Kiarbi. The execution looks so swift, but better still is Twist. Smoke, so could happen, but JDM doesn't care. Takes down far. Good shot, JDM, as he finds Fall, and they continue to round the corner. He goes to the box, but that brings Twist. Another rifle, or rather SMG, I should say, of Stanislaw into the picture. Nade. Small damage on Taco as he sees it coming. Oh! Wrap around from Gold gets shut down. JDM spots all facets. And he's got Taco falling out. What a round, JDM. JDM watching towards second middle. I think he's got the frag. Bird does take him down, but the refrag comes in. Nice work, JDM. Brilliant response to cover off his teammate, but he had to be careful not to get. Jack Daniels and the money! All in mistimes it. Horribly timed as Nitro rounds the corner. He does it. And incendiary in his hand. So too does Cold, but Cold is there to save. Actually, take that back. His teammate and Taco. And not only does he save him, he gets all three kills. So it neutralizes and equalizes in the favor of SK. As they smoke him off, they'll try and Molotov. Doesn't matter. He steps wide, looking for the ace, goes to the pistol. Bomb is down. And Cold knows he controls the situation against JDM, who only has an op, and therefore. He gets his ace. Cold goes back at exactly the wrong time. Elysian instead, however, does respond, and Twist has made his way into the pit. That becomes a problem for SK, solved by Fallen. Down to Elysian JDM, and overtime looms. As Elysian gets closer and closer and knows there's two in the site, directly Fallen on the AWP finds a gap. JDM will go aggressive, but no further will he find any room. Fallen shuts it, we go rounds further. They shut it down here and now, or the pressure will continue to compress because they've got problems if they go into a double overtime situation. Still a two versus two. Kits on both. Nitro to find Phelps, all down to Cold Zera. 14 HP, but forget that because it is Cold Zera, and he is so good in these situations. He tries to get the shot out, he's gonna pinch oh! him in. He's got a leash, low HP as he goes back in with the up, and that is why Cold is the best in the world. And we've got more rounds, yeah, headset off, bring it on, NA. Stewie's gone all the way around, he's done the around the world now. I, they're not gonna expect it, Carrigan won't know he's here. This could be brilliant, this is what you wanna be seeing from Stewie. Carrigan now taps the bomb, Stewie comes back in, he's tempting fate, he's looking for it. And the clock takes it, oh, Carrigan! He might just have this, I don't know if he's got time, no, he doesn't! Nico's gonna be the one pressuring, here he comes, and actually gonna fall right back with it, but it's rain from the other angle, two kills. Boosted up as well, oh, I'm fearing the worst of them, how do you even flash him? You got you nothing. Here we go, deep breath, don't even check the boost apparently, oh. but there it is, Nitro gets his first, and it will be Nico to find him at the same time. The deck that doesn't work out, JDM finds the third frag. Kerrigan dies in the last rounds. so two to see in this win. Oh. oh, the auto sniper that gives the Liquid their best chance, except that oh. Nico still in the back of the site! And he's got accuracy, he's got... Oh my oh. god! Get off the server! He does not even need full ammunition, give him a half, give him 15 bullets. On North American soil, is twist. Gets another kill, but Kerrigan's fast to get it behind JDM, who opened off the kills. Still, a Liquid have a chance with a man advantage, they've got to be careful of the smoke that's down, and Kerrigan continues on in good form. When he's rolling as well, that's very scary because now they've got the bomb back and the liege won't quite catch them getting to the bomb site, but he may put himself in a good position to play off of Nitro. The old duo, the old guard, to try and shut down FaZe. Guardian as well with the SWP. Dinked up but finds Nitro waiting at Modo and Elyse, his position's gonna be found out because the timing is such that Kerrigan should immediately stare from Graveyard in the corner toward exactly where he's coming from. All to play for. Guardian not spotting the right way. Elyse not either as he thought it came from Pit, but if he wins this duel, chance to find it, not quite. 16-3 in the end. This side of the map with five players without executing very quickly. Here it comes, Molotov's in, flashbangs deployed as well. Carrigan to find the first break, can't do it! Hello, Stan! Two kills for him! Twist chiming in as well. It's up to Nico to pick up the pieces now. And Twist smartly gets inside of the smoke to avoid Guardian. However, he gets behind the pillar. Nico, he steps up. Suddenly, he's down to a one-on-one. -on -one. This fight stands great start. And oh! Nico versus Elyse, and Nico's got accuracy every time! Five. Suddenly, Liquid actually have a bit of a chance. Three players extremely low. The problem is they need to get in a better position. They're trying to flank out. Stanislaw's done it perfectly, and that allows Elyse back in. The timing is everything. 
And leads on 15 kills. If he can continue that in this pistol, maybe we have a chance to work with him. Round number 16. In terms of the bike. Uh, oh, don't let me get it. Oh my god, what has happened? Rain and Long looking for blood and he gets four headshots. It's over. The refs called it. They're dead. It's over. Oh my god. Wow. They should be able to hold it off. They go. Smoke lineup. A lineup they've got to get out of. Nico's got them sitting in the rights of the traps. Whoa. And goes to the pistol. If they lose like this, it would be a disaster. But what a play from Nico to make it a oh, possibility. No. Stanislaw. Flashes out. They try and spray it through the window. Instead, though, Twist gets Kerrigan back. However, Olaf has access, and they have the HP advantage on the CT side. He's the one with the kit as well as Olaf. Down goes Nitro, suddenly twists again, has to clutch it. No idea that he's that close. Rain gets caught out, and he knows that Olaf's jumped in. Buys himself space by boldly jumping back toward the jail. And he needs to step up and get himself out of this situation as Olaf gets closer. Wow. Twist says absolutely not. And with the AWP this time on me, but similar aggressive stance, takes down Nitro and falls into the sight. Pistols will pour in toward him, and he's certainly ready for yet another as he takes JDM, but somehow still alive in this. They're losing numbers on the liquid side, they somehow pull it back to a two versus two. He wants the gun and gets it. Stan wants to pull it out. That'll cost him because Guardian's able to jump through. Elise now knows he has to get off the plant. AWP versus two on close angles in the site, and Guardian has the op at the ready against him. Rain has arrived to have the wide shot, misses it. Does Elise to Guardian take it back? He actually hit, but got away. I thought for sure it was an immediate trade. He now has a chance for a low AP, HP clutch. I'm not sure he's aware. Oh, it's perfect. But he's got him so deep in the sights. Elise will answer it. Finally, they win a clutch. Who have rifles with armor, but that's a factor when you consider how low they are. And then Twist, who's trying to get close enough to get pistol into effect. He's the one that needs to beat off of this. He's crossed out. He knows where he is. Rain's got the hard part done. Elise, it would take one bullet. 51, it would take one the other way as well if he's not careful. So he still has something to consider. Elise does not have a kick. For the oh my shows. god. And Rain pulls back the round. <laughs> All you can do is fist bump at that point for Team Liquid. A three versus one situation. It seemed like you got back into it. Enough to make this a competitive game at least. But what a play from that in Rain. My lord, that's something quite special. Three versus one, and a Legion twist could be a threat. Kerrigan seems to think they're, or at least know that they're there, but when they go for the reload, that's when they strike good trade. Elise needs to double it if they want any chance, and that's gone. This makes problems worse because JDM gets smoked off, backed away, and FaZe continue to apply the pressure. Off through the window, gets one, gets traded out, a bomb planted, and again, there is no kits, an MP9. And a Nico well in the way as he goes back to Sandwich. I don't know how they do this. How are they going to pull this one up? They've got smokes and flashbangs. That's about it. And the nades rain. The arsenal toward the firebox in hope of a kill. All in in one position, and Guardian makes it just nice. Trying to find the flash. And Nico fittingly gets the last kill as FaZe dominate New York in 2017 in the Barclays Center all the way through this tournament. They've looked so, so good. Guardian's done this before Olaf joins him.